Welcome to Realscape, the series where my RuneScape account progresses only as much as I do in real life. By mapping each of the 23 skills of RuneScape to corresponding abilities and hobbies, I seek to progress through my real world goals alongside my Iron Man account. Every time I level up a skill in the game, I have to level up its corresponding real world skill to match it before I can log in again. The goal is to become as passionate and dedicated in life as I have been in OSRS, all while chasing the Questscape on my Iron Man account. This is Realscape. On paper, it's a pretty simple concept. Harnessing the motivation and discipline of an RPG account progression into real-world growth and development. I, like many people, have some aspirations. But at the end of the day, I get more dopamine and satisfaction from playing video games like Old School RuneScape or from simply just sleeping in than I do from actually working on those goals. The math isn't really in my favor. That being said, not everything in RuneScape is fun. In fact, most of RuneScape's grinds are objectively pretty terrible. Running rooftop laps, smelting gold bars, and building pieces of furniture repeatedly for hundreds of hours are all incredibly monotonous and unappealing tasks. But I, like many of us, did them anyway. So then, why was I so inspired to click on a single tile for hundreds of hours, but not motivated enough to clean my room for half an hour? Or why did I cook monkfish for two hours, but skip making breakfast? What are the mechanisms that RuneScape operates through that enables us to be so disciplined and persistent without even realizing it? For me, that answer seems simple. Visible progress towards goals. That's right, a little yellow fraction, a red line through a checklist, a green quest title. All of these keep me playing for hours on end without hesitation. So what if I could harness that motivation towards non-RuneScape related goals? To do this, rather than try to reinvent the wheel and somehow get real-life goals to reward me in the same way that RuneScape does, I'm using RuneScape itself and this new account as motivation. Because I want to see the account grow as much as it can, I'm using this as the driving motor for my own growth. Hopefully once I get the ball rolling, I'll be able to enjoy my real-world grinds as much as I enjoy slugging it out on the computer, but until that day comes, this should keep me moving and making progress towards my goals. So now that we've introduced the concepts, let's talk specifics. How did I choose the 23 goals that would map to my RuneScape levels? In short, I mainly chose things I care about and want to get better at that also have concrete measurable milestones or training events. So what does this mean? Well, for milestone-based goals, a good example is weight training. Being able to bench 135 pounds, 180 pounds, 215 pounds, etc. are all great milestones in your bench press indicating that you've gotten stronger and leveled up, so to speak. So for some of these skills, this is how we measure progress. This is similar to having a new max hit or hit point level in the game. For other skills, we can use concrete practice events to measure progress instead. These events can be something like making a cake, editing a video, or solving a coding problem, similar to how the construction or cooking skills operate in the game, with different levels unlocking new demonstrations of mastery. With that basis in mind, we can now see the 23 skills I chose. Keep in mind that these can be personalized and tailored, both in the skill chosen and starting slash ending milestones to best meet your own goals if you want to try this yourself. I also tried to have some minor justification for each mapping, like having combat skills mapped to fitness metrics, but really the most important thing is choosing skills I care about and want to succeed in. I also considered the levels necessary for a quest cape and mapped the skills according to what I wanted to develop the most. With regards to that goal, the reason why I chose the quest cape as the target goal for the account is that it promotes a rather balanced spread of levels across skills and would thus promote some balance in my own life. I wouldn't be able to ignore any one skill for too long and should grow on all fronts in time. So without further ado, here is the mapping. My first 10 skills are mainly related to fitness and most map to the combat skills in game. They are pull-ups to attack level, bench press to strength, squat to defense, rows to range level, running to agility, overhead press to prayer, deadlifts to magic level, weight to hit points, swimming to fishing, and abdominals and core to slayer level. For hobbies, we map cooking to, yep, you guessed it, cooking, coding to crafting level, carpentry to construction, video making to smithing, learning piano to woodcutting, writing songs to fire making, gardening to farming, dancing and leisure to fletching, skating to herbalore, and language learning to mining. Finally, for life goals, we have making money to thieving, job and PhD applications to hunting, and my least favorite, organizing my house to runecrafting. With all these skills set, we can set on our way towards this brand new journey. I'll also go into depth as to what each level translates to for each skill as they appear, 
But for now, let's just get started. Like any new account, our journey starts on Tutorial Island. Let's try to get a good name here. All right, well, that's taken, that's taken, and yeah, that's taken. So let's go with RLscape, Realscape. That's not too bad. Let's get the face and the hair. Yep, looks like me, looks pretty good. Don't want to get any levels here, so let's move right through this. Alrighty, well, that's that. Let's go off to the mainland to do our first quest. So for our first quest in this account, I've decided to go with Sheep Shearer. It's quick, it's simple, and it'll level up crafting, which means I only have to solve a couple of coding problems to level up and get back on the account. So we talk to Fred, get some wool from the sheep, spin it, and we're done. 20 balls of wool, all good to go. 150 crafting XP, 2 levels, and 60 GP in our pocket. And we're done. Should be no time until I'm back on the account and ready to continue. Except it wasn't. In fact, I recorded this clip in August of 2019, over two and a half years ago. That's right, when I said I wasn't particularly disciplined or motivated, I really meant it. Two and a half years, the script and video have been sitting on my desk, but procrastination and excuses got the better of me. But that ends today. So to make progress towards developing my coding skills, I've gone ahead and made a leak code account. Really, I could have chosen any of these big coding challenge websites, but this one seems simple enough. My goal is to solve 98 coding problems, with each successful solve equating to a level in the game. That being said, not all problems are created equal, so I'm requiring one hard problem, or two medium, or three easy problems per level. This algorithm study plan sounded like it may be a good fit for my future job searches, so I started there. First off, a quick binary search, should be no problem. Just pivot on the middle, check the value, and there, should be done. Uh, nope, got some errors, let me just fidget with that, and nope. I ended up fumbling with this for another 15 minutes just to get a pretty mediocre solution. It turns out I'm actually incredibly rusty at coding. Well, I guess it's not the most ceremonious of starts, but it's something. One easy problem down, five to go before I can log back on. I also took a break for the night and went back the next morning to make sure I could code the problem in their ideal solution and runtime, and after some work, I was able to, so I moved on to the next. The next problem was a sort of modified binary search, which wouldn't have been too bad if I hadn't had a strange integer overflow bug, but alas, once I rewrote this equation to account for larger integers, it was good to go. The third easy problem was actually pretty trivial, again, a modified binary search. No major issues here. I was then on what seemed like a cooldown for the study plan, so I hopped over to a new data structure study plan to crank out two more easy solutions, one for sets and one for arrays, and boom, five easy questions done. One left to reach level three crafting and log back into the account. Once again, I had to hop onto another study plan, this time dynamic programming, and secured a quick win for the last easy coding problem. After two and a half years, I could finally log back into my account. Of course, it took me a while to remember my password, but once I did, the excitement was real. Not only to play on the account, but to feel like I am really doing it this time, holding myself accountable towards working to my goals. I couldn't be happier, but it's only the beginning. Join me on the next episode of Realscape, where we continue our progress in RuneScape and in life. If you enjoyed this episode of Realscape, please consider subscribing. Thanks.